This project is divided in three, sort of three different steps to achieve this view. Speaking of the vision, I often feel divided when making decisions, which is quite a natural thing, but I guess I've always done things reversed in a way. Doing things in reverse might have different meanings, but in this case, I'm talking about putting the cart before the horse, or as we say in Portuguese, por o carro à frente dos bois. I guess that my hunger to create and make stuff and be there for the present moment made me underestimate the importance of basis and good foundation. This means that I'm used to make projects without a proper setup space, without a good physical arrangement. That's not particularly bad, but I'm finally getting to a point where I realize that functionality and convenience in the workspace or living space are crucial to accomplish most tasks faster and effectively. Also, as you arrange the space around you and make it more suitable for your eyes, it's somehow refreshing to the mind that instantly feels more comfort in making your body move and start projects. It gives you motivation to get started in something. It is very tricky and challenging to turn small spaces into fully efficient ones when your work seems to overflow the available physical space. So let's begin. I want to turn this wall into my wood storage. So here I'm taking away most of the stuff and piling it up on the floor and tables. I bought a bunch of transparent plexi boxes that will help me right away to pack the smaller wood scraps. I will later build a shelf to accommodate the boxes and I started to take some measurements. The first step is to change the place of this lumber rack I made a few years ago so everything looks better and tidier. The way this was built was not ideal and that means I need to remove the horizontal braces to get the whole thing off of the wall. I didn't want this to happen again so I reassemble all the braces and then create a new holes to screw it to the wall. After reattaching the top braces, I made sure to align the bottom ones and this way I only need to care about leveling the top part when applying it to the wall. Give them a few strokes with a block plane to slightly chamfer the sharp edges to prevent hurting myself as much uh, if I bump my hands against the rack later on. Since I'm making a few improvements, I decided to paint the OSP parts with a flat color. The OSP board I used at the time had some old paintings and that doesn't look any good. I made the new holes and ended up using much thicker and stronger screws than the previous ones. I made the distance between braces around 1 meter and installed the second and third ones leveled with the first one. I pre-drilled a few millimeters into the wall because I don't want it to mushroom as I apply the screw to it and will be less noticeable and easier to fix later when I leave the space. So this concludes the first episode of the wood storage wall. I didn't get into details on making this style rack, but don't worry because you'll see me making one from scratch on the next episode. A different style though. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later.